All right, this is grade two, module one, lesson seven. And in this lesson, we're gonna be taking from 10 within 20. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're gonna be subtracting a single digit number from some number in the teens. For example, we might do, do like 13 minus six. Now, the reason for this strategy in particular is if we're not careful, we're gonna teach students the beautiful little algorithm how to subtract, and then they're going to accidentally or mindlessly begin using the algorithm even when it's not particularly appropriate, like 13 minus 6. It's not so, we don't really want them to use some sort of standard algorithm here. We just want them to do it. Uh, because this is an example of something I've seen with kids uh, in second grade. Well, they cross off the 1, make it a 0, and then they make the 3 into a 13, and then they do 13 minus 6 is 7. <laughs> well, all this extra work is not needed, and that's simply because they're kind of in this algorithm mode of thinking. And so really what we want to do is teach them strategies. And specifically in this lesson, uh, let's do that 13 minus 6. So we're teaching them the strategy where we want them to think of 13 as two full hands plus three extra imaginary fingers, all right? And then when they are subtracting from six, so we want them to think of 13 as a 10 plus three extra fingers. And then we want them to cross off that six from the original 10 fingers. So we want them to say, all right, we're gonna take away one finger, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, five fingers, six fingers, so I've crossed off six fingers from the ten, and that means I have four fingers here plus my three fingers here, so that's going to be four plus three equals seven. So what that, what that might look like is um, students might say, okay, let's do that ten minus six, so ten minus six is four, and then we're going to do 4 plus 3, which is adding in our uh, imaginary fingers, and we get 7. All right, so let's do some specific practicing on that. All right, on this slide, we're just going to have our practice uh, taking out that 10 using decomposition. Now, remember, 17 can be de decomposed as 10 plus 7 or as 7 plus 10 up here. In, it works in both cases. Now we're going to find out though that our strategy might be made easier if we decompose with the 10 on the right, which is might be a little counterintuitive for our kiddos with because we see the 10 on the left and all of a sudden we're putting the 10 on the right. Uh, and that's okay. So if there are students who are really hung up on it and they prefer to put the 10 on the left, that is absolutely okay. Everything is still going to work. Um, but let's decompose, and we're going to learn that it's a little easier if we decompose with the 10 on the right. And here we go. We're going to decompose with the 10 on the right. And remember, if the students want to decompose with the 10 on the left, life is still good. And then that strategy that we're teaching our students is also going to be useful if they're really good at subtracting from 10. You know, using all that 10 frame business that they learned in first grade and in kindergarten, the idea of, so you've got 10, take away 2, and there's a couple ways to think of it. You could either do 10, take away 2, and you're left with 8, or another way to think of it is you have 2, and what do you need to fill in that 10 frame. So either way is gonna work. So this strategy is just, I mean, this slide is really just to help our kids get pretty good, pretty fluent at subtracting from 10. And then this slide, this is the important one. This is where we're getting the big bang for our buck here. So the idea is 14 is decomposed to be four plus 10. And then we have 10 minus nine. Now I'm gonna, kind of do a little bit of shorthand, not totally, you know, written mathematically perfectly, but we're going to circle the 10 minus 9, that's 1. So now we have 4 plus 1, which is 5, all right? 
So over here, first we did the 10 minus 9, got 1. Then we added 1 plus our four imaginary fingers. Remember, that's really what that 4 is. All right, let's do a little bit of practice on 15 minus 8. So we're going to decompose 15. And because it makes life a little easier, although it's not required, we're going to, sub we're going to put the 10 on the right. So 10 minus 8 is 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. Now to show the mathematical steps, we might write it over here. We might say, okay, 10 minus 8 is 2. So that's kind of like taking away 8 of the 10 fingers, right? And then this 5 means we have 5 imaginary fingers, so we're going to do 2 plus 5 gives us 7. So that's kind of what Eureka Math is looking for our kids to write, although I uh, personally believe this is sufficient as well because ultimately we want this to become a mental strategy. Uh, so we're not going to be writing this down. Let's do uh, one more problem on this page. Oh, let's do 13 minus 7. So we're going to decompose. We're going to put 3 on the left, 10 on the right, although that's not mandatory. So we have 10 fingers. Remember, that stands for our 10 fingers, our two hands number. So two hands take away 7. <laughs> so 7 fingers. So 10 fingers take away 7 fingers, leaves us with 3 fingers plus the three imaginary fingers that we had left over and from the get-go, and that gives us six. And the last slide for this video is a word problem. Let's practice with word problems because we really do not want our students to be scared of this. In fact, a lot of research says word problems are even easier than just plain old boring number problems. So let's read. Lucy spent $8 on a game, so I'm going to underline that because that seems important. And she started with $14. Well, that seems important, so I'm going to underline that. How much money does Lucy have left? Hmm. So she started with $14, and then she spent $8 on a game. Now, if we were going to, we would draw a number bond that might look like this. We might think of it that way. Another way to think of it might be she started with $14, so there's my picture of $14, and then she spent $8, so that goes away. So the question is, how much is left over? So we have a couple of ways for our students to think of this problem. And as a number sentence, it's going to look like this, 14 minus 8. So we're going to decompose 4 and 10. 10 fingers take away 8 fingers, leaves us with 2 fingers plus our 4 imaginary fingers in the, the beginning. That leaves us with 6. So how much money does Lucy have left over? Lucy has $6. That's cool. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 7, where we're using the beautiful little strategy so that students can subtract 13 minus 6 in an easy, fast, efficient, and mental way.